Good day everyone! So we are your personal development teachers of the University of La Salette. I'm your Sir Dom. And I'm Sir George. And for today, we're going to teach you on how to clinch your job interview so that you will be able to get the job that you wanted. So without further ado, let's proceed with our discussion. Okay, so Sir Dom, what is job interview? A job interview is actually a two-way process. When we say a two-way process, um, there is an interviewer and there is an applicant. So, you as an as an interviewer, you they will ask questions, and of course, as as an applicant, you have to respond to those questions. So, a job interview is what professionals are doing uh, when they apply for a for for a particular job. Um, Unless you would like to become an entrepreneur, of course, you don't have to undergo this particular process. But if you wish to become a nurse, an engineer, or a bank teller, then you have to undergo this particular process. Okay. So, Sir George, how do you feel naman when it comes to your first job interview? Okay, during my first interview, I, was, I felt nervous, of course. That is not um, very usual. I think for some applicants but um, the first thing that you should consider is to be prepared you should have your your company background check and of course your yourself you have yourself with you shall. okay so when when you have your first interview sir George after the interview how do you feel so before the interview you you are nervous and then after the interview how do you feel during my first interview, I felt so... I don't think I'm happy because I don't know how to answer mm -hmm. during those times. Because that's my first. But then, after I got into another job and entered into an interview again, I was, I, I was prepared then. So, after the interview, I was very happy because I answered all the questions and I make sure that Every time I answer the questions, um, uh, it is all about me. Mm -hmm. There's no pretensions. Oh, yes. When I also have my first interview, actually, uh, that is very true. Diba? That we, we are very nervous, most especially that for us, Sir George, um, we had our first interview after or during college or mm -hmm. after college so you are actually blessed right now senior high school that you will be able to experience it so i think you will be better than us when you actually apply for the job because as early as today they can prepare already for their job yes. interview so that's the good thing about senior high school you are going to prepare ahead of time for your um work in the future okay. so that is for the uh, how does it feel when it comes to the job interview? So, let's go into the different tips so that you you can prepare for your online job interview. So, Sir George have already mentioned the first one, which is you research about the uh, industry or the company that you are applying for. What is the importance of that, Sir George? Okay, so the importance of knowing your company that you are applying for and the industry that you are applying for um, it will give you an edge over your competitors or your other applicants okay so um, you will know how to answer the their questions because it is sometimes based on their company background mm -hmm. and then they will uh, you have a one step ahead among your co-applicants yes so when you apply uh, in the future um, you have to research you can just rely on on what you know you have to discover things you have to explore about the industry or on that particular company what uh, are the products that it offers what are the the values or the things that it stands for so that Sabi nga ni Sir George, it will give you an advantage when it comes to your job interview. So, you research about your particular company. So, another tip that we can give you is you clarify your selling point and the reason why you want that particular job. 
andun ka ba sa trabaho kasi gusto mong kumita? Or you are in the job because you love it? Or this is your passion? So, you have to go for for what is your purpose. Kasi when it comes to the job interview, mararamdaman yun ng, ng interviewer mo. The authenticity of of what you say. So, that is one of your selling point. So, another is you can prepare for the commonly asked questions which we are going to discuss later on as we progress with the with the video or with our discussion. Then, another is practice, practice, practice. That is very important. As much as possible, you should um, watch videos on how to answer different questions in, mm -hmm. in interviews. And then, you also um, ask your parents or your colleagues or your, I mean, your classmates so that you can practice as well conversing in English with your, with others. Yes, yeah, so it's um, through that we really have to practice because sabi nga natin, di ba, nobody's perfect. So we need to practice and we, just like what Sir George have mentioned, you have to collect ideas from your social media platform, from the people around you on how you can answer the following questions but of course you see to it that your answer is true to yourself mm -hmm. that it is authentic so practice makes perfect there's uh, when you uh, finish a particular interview the only thing that you have is your learning uh, next interview I would continue this or I would have to do this one better so that is for the other tip. Then, what else are the tips, Sir George, that we can give them? Another tip is you should think positively. Why? The importance of thinking positive, di ba? Bakit ka pa mag interview if you are, bakit ka pa mag sa job interview if you think na hindi ka makukuha? Di ba? Ano pang saisay ng pagpunta mo doon if you think you cannot do it? So, mm -hmm. believe in yourself or believing in yourself is already uh, you are it's just like you are already halfway there pag niniwala ka sa sarili mo kayang kaya mo yun so and what it, yes sige. it also transcends mm. to your body language mm. your confidence um makikita yun ng interviewer so makikita nila na confident ka you know what you're doing you know what you're saying so plus point yun pagdating sa interview. Okay. One way also that I can give them as a tip is yung ha, paano yung mapapakita na na you are positive. Uh, you can you can always smile. Right? Your positive outlook towards life could also reflect on the way you smile, you, you, the way you you move when it comes to the job interview process. So that is also one way of uh uh, dealing when it comes to the job interview. Then another one is you should score a success in the first five minutes of the job interview. That is very important. Yeah, gano ba katagal yung mga interview usually, Sir George? Usually, it will take around five to ten minutes. Pero depending on, uh, on the um, ano to? Yung, the way they answer. Oh, the, way they, mm. the way you answer and the questions, there are follow-up questions mm -hmm. actually. So, minsan ganun katagal. So, Dapat sa 5 minutes pa lang, you were able to clinch a success already. Diba? That umpisa pa lang, you were able to impress or leave a good impression already to your employer. So that is for our tip. And then we also have this one. Be ready for illegal and inappropriate questions. Ano so, examples? Uh, example ng mga illegal or inappropriate questions. Something that that uh, they might ask when it comes to your personal very personal life or yung values mo tinetest mm, nila actually diba parang dito parang ano ba tong question na to medyo mm -hmm. mapapaisip ka ganyan pero they are already looking into your values as an individual sometimes actually the thing that we do uh, sometimes is nagpapatalent portion <laughs> diba kasi it's not a question but it's an on the spot way of um checking if what can this applicant contribute to the organization kasi hindi lang naman ito ang kailangan mm. when it comes to applying you have to be holistically developed so there are employers na nagpapatalent so 
be ready. <laughs> and also, ano pa ba, mga, inter, uh, mga inappropriate or illegal questions. Sometimes, they are asking for your expected salary. Right? It's a, it's a way of uh, testing. Uh, do, are you here for the money? Diba? Or, um, you expect so, or, or do you expect so much for the company? So, that is for that particular tip and then let's go with the other one you make most of the tell me about yourself question um, um tell me about yourself question is actually one of the most important question or walang interview na hindi to tinatanong because self-introduction is the start of a particular interview. So, ito, dito pa lang sa may um, introduce yourself, dapat nasabi mo na lahat ng gusto mong sabihin sa company or sa employer mo. So, later on, we are going to give you some tips on how to uh, answer. answer this particular question. Okay, what else? Speak the right body language. Paano ba dapat yung speak the right body language, Sir George? Let's say you are the interviewer. Okay. I, oh my God, I am the applicant. <laughs> oh, maliktad. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... What is the first thing that you should do? When it comes to uh, the job interview, of course, you have to greet your employer. So, you can say, good morning, sir. So, I am... Dominic and I am applying for a job. So it is important that you look into the eyes of your interviewer so that it would be personalized. Unlike yung you you look at the difference. Hi sir, <laughs> diba? you if you're looking at the ceiling because you are nervous, so it would be It will transcend to yes. your body language. So my kita nya na parang hindi ka ready or natatakot. Yes, correct. Na. Gestures also are very important including your mannerism. So when it comes to your mannerism, so you make sure that you are calm, you are collected when it comes to answering question. Okay lang ba Sir George na may mga gestures sometimes? Okay lang 'yun pero dapat minimal lang. Yes. So hindi siya excessive gesture or this destructive mm -hmm. yung medyo naka di ba every sentence eh meron kang gesture or what so you do gestures for emphasis so yes, yung mga exactly. to give emphasis to what you would like to say hindi yung every word is meron kang gesture di ba? <laughs> so that is for uh, making uh, for the right body language and also uh, you don't sit like this di ba? or you don't your posture is very much important. You stand, uh, you stand, or you sit properly, and then you. Hindi the yung freeze. very ano, hindi yung very tamad mm -hmm. na or nakaslouch ka. Okay. And also, don't if there is a table, do not uh, lean lean on the table. That because di ba parang pag nakachill chill ka lang naganon. It's a formal job interview, eh. So you don't do that when it comes to the job interview then another is you be ready for behavior based questions so ano ba yung mga sample nito sir george okay usually kasi um pagdating sa sa abm more on business questions mm -hmm. more on decision making more on um handling situations like um stress management mm -hmm. time management um may conflicts so mga ganun pagdating naman sa sa mga ibang profession so um, paano ba yung handling nyo ng mga um, reports, incidental reports o kaya mm. naman mga complaints so yun yung mga usually tinatanong pag mga ganyan. Example of that is when it comes to yung students um, for teachers, how do you handle your uh, students or when it comes to classroom management so, behavioral question yun. Kunyari, merong nag-iingay, may nag-away. So, how will you handle those particular situations as a teacher? So, when it comes to the job interview, put yourself into the into, shoes. into the shoes of that particular person that you are applying for. So, that is one example of a behavioral behavior-based interview. So, doon makikita yung values mo, yung way of answering mo, yung morals mo, yung analytical skills mo as an inter uh, as an applicant so and 
the other thing that you have to do is you say thank you after the job interview. No matter if it is a good or a, um, what do you call this, a unfortunate uh, result when it comes to your job interview, you say thank you to your employer and you don't give up. Yes. After the job interview, there are more doors that would open for you. So don't give up on yourself. Continuously invest in yourself. And that is personal development. So cut na natin. Those are for the tips. Yeah, those are for the tips when it comes to the job interview. And for the next video, we are going to discuss the, the commonly asked questions in the job, job interview. interview. See ya. <laughs>